Hi, everyone. Um, this week's case study is a pretty interesting one. It's actually tying in the pelvis deviation with a shoulder uh, discrepancy or scapula discrepancy. Um, you're going to see with the pictures here that um, she had a really significant uh, elevation on the left side of her pelvis, which was causing her to shift, which was causing that right shoulder to depress. And it was a moderate, so it was, it was definitely significant. Um, so this is one of those things where you look at the shoulder um, and you go, okay, well, should we go after the torso and the scap or should we go after the pelvis? In this case, I went after the pelvis. And you'll see from the pictures um, the changes that were made um, by doing that. Um, let me just tell you a little about her symptoms. Um, she had a left glute, more of the piriformis area. Um, basically, her worse was standing and activity. Um, when I did a, a squat test and we did an ASLR, you know, a straight leg test, uh, the squat basically was locking up on the left side. So when she was going to the squat pattern, the left side was staying elevated as she went down into the squat pattern. And then with her ASLR, she actually had better range of motion on her left side coming up than she did her right side. So what I did was, um, Pretty standard, as you'll see that people that have taken the, um, the level one cert. I did the uh, knee presses, knee squeezes, and then what I did was I did some foot circles with a strap around her knees. So, so we kept that lateral stabilization um, in there. Um, went into the one arm counter, which is that one arm lat stretch going across. And then I went into uh, a split static wall. So basically I had the legs up the wall go into a split position. And one thing I didn't talk about with her particular, um, with her particular um, posture was the knees were actually um, valgus as well. So I did the split. Then I had her just do the legs straight up the wall. Sorry, I'm doing some construction over there. And then I had to do that reverse where, where she's doing the external rotation. Then I had a rollover onto her stomach. We did the prone, um, you know, the, the ankle squeezes prone. And then I ended with a um, wall sit exercise. So that was the program, but you'll see um, before and after what the change we made with that. And again, this is a perfect example of, okay, which one do we go after? We go after the torso and the scap, or do we go after the pelvis? And again, in this case, we went after the pelvis. So um, keep posting on the member site. There's been some really good, um, really good changes you guys have sent in regards to some of the pictures before and after from your clients. So... Uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.